Buenos dias, bro amigos. Now, I'm here to talk to you today about women in infantry. Now, I'm not here to necessarily force my opinion on you, but rather give you the facts that we can all agree on. The first thing I want to start off with is a couple statistics to throw at you. And most people really don't understand these. Now, 37% of the Marine Corps is at the rank of Lance Corporal and below. And 61% of the Marine Corps is at the age of 25 years old or younger. 61%. And on top of all of that, only 6% of the Marine Corps is female. When people think Marine Corps, they usually think the young 61% that are 25 years old or younger. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a male bias towards the females in the case of ITB and infantry on the fleet. Everybody knows males develop differently than females. There's testosterone, they have estrogen, we develop muscles quicker, we develop bigger muscles. It is what it is. But the one thing that really gets me is people will be like, hey, females are going to get sexually assaulted if they go into infantry. What most people don't know is most sexual assaults in the Marine Corps are actually male on male. And I can't even imagine how many male on male cases actually go unreported. That's not to say that sexual assault between anybody is okay because it's a big problem in the military and the Marine Corps especially is working to crush that. However, it seems unfair to me to say that if women were to go into infantry that they'd automatically be sexually assaulted by the males and this is all publicly released information you can go check it out on the marine corps official website if you want to they release the court martials every time they come out now another thing that i'd like to hit on is standards people do not want to change the standard for infantry training battalion and i don't think they should the standard is there for a reason it works in fact commandant of the marine corps general amos was asked whether or not the marine corps would be changing its standards and his prompt response was hell no so one example i want to leave you with before i go is that if I were to go outside and grab 10 Marines at random, I'm going to guess at least two or three of those guys probably can't even put 100 pounds on bench press. Does that mean they're bad Marines? No. Do they have a great chance of passing ITB? Probably not. The same goes for women. If I were to walk outside right now and grab 10 women, ooh, that sounds bad, out of 10 females, probably at least one of them could pass ITB and go on to infantry in the fleet. And that's why I actually do think it's a good idea to at least test whether or not women could be in infantry. A lot of people argue that it's all just political correctness, and honestly, I think political correctness is a pain in the butt. However, in this case, I think it kind of makes sense. Not all men are cut out for infantry, but they still at least get the chance to try out for ITV. We definitely know that not all women were cut out for infantry, but in previous years, we had completely denied them the chance to even try. And I think that's where the problem lies, affording people the opportunity to go out and actually try these things. So yes, while the odds may be stacked against females, they're definitely not out of the fight. I actually want to know what you think. So, as we know, it's very easy to get sucked into a belligerent conversations on YouTube. But, let's try to keep it clean, keep it respectful, and comment below.